Hey there, Aquarius. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and we are going to do a reading for your sign today. Um, as you probably well know, there's no way this could possibly be a personal reading because this is on YouTube and for the general sign of Aquarius. So this is not your personal reading. If you would like a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com and we will do an in-depth reading just for you, just for your situation, and 40 bucks will hook you up. Super easy to schedule, super easy to pay. I will show up, the cards will show out, and we will really dive deep into your situation. That being said, this general reading right here is pretty short and to the point. I sat down, got all cozied up, was ready to do this big, deep reading for Aquarius, and this is what the cards gave me. And I can't argue with the universe, right? So let's get started and talk about this real quick. There is you, Aquarius, presenting in your power as the king of swords, clear thinking, intellectual power, authority, and truth. You have made an absolute decision to walk away from love. Absolute decision to walk away from love. It took you a minute to get there. It took you a minute, right? All caught up in your head real hard. It took you a minute to get there, but you know that there is more out there than what you have right now. You want more. You want more than what you have right now. And you are bound and determined to have a new beginning and a new journey. You're just bound and determined to, to walk away from love and, and reach for better things, right? New journey and a new beginning, absolutely positively. How do we know that? Because there is the chariot card, which is action. Forward movement, right? Forward movement towards a brand new beginning. However, there is a bit of conflict here. This conflict is coming from this person that you're walking away from up here. How do we know that? We know that like this. You are seeking authority, control, establishment in your life. You have sat down with your intuition for a good long minute, sat down with your intuition and formulated a plan about how you're going to go forward. Look, formulated a plan about how you are going to go forward. This created a tower moment, a revelation and an awakening, right? This created a tower moment, caused some conflict in regards to who it is you are, are engaging with, your lover, right? So let's just recap this real quick. This conflict comes from you wanting control, authority, and establishment in your life. You sitting down with your high priestess and formulating your intuition, formulating a plan about how you want your life to be. When you spoke your truth, it created a tower moment, which created a shit ton of conflict in regards to who it is that you are engaging with, which happens to be a love situation. There's going to be swift movement, swift action, and swift change in pursuit of the manifestation of a new opportunity. So this is the breakup right here, right? This is the breakup. How do we know that you are pursuing and manifesting a brand new opportunity? Well, because there's the Ace of Pentacles telling us you have a brand new opportunity. The hand of God offering you a brand new opportunity. There is you, again, Aries, presenting as the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups tells me that you are emotionally secure. You're calm, cool, collected, intuitive. As we know back here with the high priestess, you're, you're, you, you know that you know that you know. This is not a willy-nilly decision. This isn't something that you did on the fly. This isn't something, this isn't a pouting episode because you guys got in a fight and you're breaking up and leaving. No, this is a very seriously well thought out, well orchestrated plan to walk away from where you are now and move in another direction. This Queen of Cups tells me that you absolutely positively have emotional security. You are calm, cool, collected, right? 
This Queen of Swords reiterates that. This Queen of Swords is you again. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, this is you again um, in your power going forward with this decision. This decision has been, it has been formulated, right? This judgment card is you implementing this decision. This judgment card is you implementing this decision. This Knight of Wands is you feeling really, really good about the decision that you made. Feeling really good, filled with energy and passion and lust and excitement, right? This is an action card. This is you actively feeling on fire, Aquarius, just on fire, right? Because you have so much to choose from. You have so many choices in your future. You have so many choices that it's, it's, it's just unreal. You have so many choices that it just excites you beyond no end, right? These choices, this decision, this forward movement, all of this puts you in the position of the King of Wands, right? Feeling like a badass. Some of this might have to do with a career change or a career choice, right? But either way, you are feeling yourself. You are in your power. You are on fire. You are excited. This is the King of Fire. This is the King of Passion, right? You are just like all about this new beginning in this new journey in pursuit of, of what you know is out there, right? This King of Swords reiterates the fact that this decision that you made right here that makes you super excited about the choices in your future, super excited, the King of Passion, the King of Fire, this King of Swords comes on top of that and, and says it's been implemented, implemented. There's the formulation of it. There's the implementation of it. Because you know. There's more than just these four pentacles. Yeah, up here in this relationship up here that you're walking away from, you might have had some control and some stability and some security, right? But it's not enough. You want more than four, right? You want more than four. There's your inspired new beginning. Swift action, going after it, no delays, decision made, plan formulated. You know that you know that you know you're moving forward. Queen of Wands, same as the King of Wands, right? In your power. She is absolutely determined to get what she wants. She is a successful woman. She is the Queen of Fire, the Queen of Passion, right? And there is no doubt that you are filled with passion. She's the Queen of Passion. That's you. Even though it's a fire sign, doesn't matter. You know what? Air signs can feel passion and fire too, okay? She's the Queen of Passion. She is in her throne, determined and just ready to go because she's going to find what makes her happy. She is in pursuit of happiness. There she is again. Look, Queen of Wands, happiness, Queen of Wands. Happiness sandwiched between the Queen of Wands. Determined to find what it is that makes you happy. Going on a new journey in pursuit of stability and, and, and home and hearth and happiness, right? Totally in control of yourself totally in control of yourself, totally in control of your thought processes, of your kinetic energy, where you're going, what you're doing. Conflict right there because, you know, you sat down with your intuition. You made a plan. You told that plan to this person you're walking away from. Caused all kinds of conflict, right? All kinds of conflict in regards to a love situation, but you don't care. You're out. Swift change, right? Swift change. I mean, this, this communication right here that caused the tower moment also created swift change. It, it broke your, it broke you loose and now you're going, 
you're going and you're going to manifest a new opportunity. Isn't that freaking beautiful, Aquarius? That's just so beautiful. Like I said, it's straightforward and to the point, and it most certainly is straightforward and to the point. Is there anything else, Tarot, that you can say about this whole Aquarius endeavor right here that they have going on, how they're going to just go out and find themselves, find what makes them happy. They're excited about life. They're excited about choices. They have one, two, three, four aces on the table, right? Four aces on the table. You've thought about this for a good long minute. This isn't something, like I said already, this isn't something that you just, you know, up and decided to do one day. This is a stable, steady decision that you've made and you've thought about it long and hard. You've been in hermit mode with the high priestess, your intuition, and you have a plan. You have a plan, slow, steady progress. You have a plan to go find what it is that you want out of life. Whoa. Balance, priorities, stability. Balance, priorities, stability. I mean, that's just as good as it gets. I don't even know what else to say, Aquarius. It's just as good as it gets. And it is super duper positive. Super positive. The sun. Right? The world. There's that Knight of Pentacles again. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is all about... Um, a messenger of creative new beginnings and synchronicity in your life. Nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the Hierophant, commitment, right? Committed to yourself, committed to the endeavor, committed to the journey, committed to speaking your truth to yourself, right? Tower moment, revelation and an awakening, right? A revelation and an awakening. Boy, my cards are all discombobulated. You have uh, you have good things here, Aquarius. You have really, really good things and it's only going to get better. So good luck, my friends. And um, I'm really proud of you again. I know I say that every time and I have to put this out there that my daughter is an Aquarius. And um, so I kind of get the mama feels a little bit when I'm doing Aquarius readings, right? Kind of get the mama feels a little bit. But uh, regardless, I don't care if you're 80 or if you're 13. I'm proud of you because it takes a lot to walk away from love and go towards what it is that you're passionate about in life. It takes a lot of chutzpah to do that, my friend. And I am proud of you. Look, Wheel of Fortune. Woohoo! Life cycles ending, new life cycles beginning, and a turning point in your destiny. You're on the right track, Aquarius. I don't know what it is for you specifically, but whatever it is that you're doing and you're pursuing and you are deciding to uh, to do in your life, it is um, it's uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And just like your last reading, there's old Diablo again, right? Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. You put him to the side and you just keep on going because he's going to try to hold you back. Don't listen to him. Maybe he is this right here. Maybe that's who you're walking away from. I don't know. But whatever that is, whoever's whispering in your ear, don't listen to him. You can do this, Aquarius. You don't need anybody. You don't need anything. You got it completely under control. There you go, my friends. Namaste.